Hello. <laughs> Just thought I'm quickly sharing my life update, as it were, because today, on August the 2nd, 2022, I've been living 22 years abroad. So in 2000, I left Germany um, for, sorry, for Dublin, or Dublin, Ireland. So I lived a, a, a total of 10 years and three weeks in the Republic of Ireland. Eight years in uh, Dublin, even though within that time we've moved, uh, we moved numerous times within Dublin. And then for quite some time, maybe, uh, well, nine, ten months, I lived in Tralee. Um, where I studied digital media back in the day. And um, then for the last two years before moving to England, um, we lived at a place called Billymore Eustace, County Kildare, which I <laughs> termed um, or called Billymore Useless because catching a bus there was like winning the lottery. There was no bus stops, you had to wave them down and sometimes they just ignored you. Um, when you said you're 45 minutes late, they would say, you want to walk over? Right, so <laughs> it wasn't so simple. And um, also there was no street lights to the cottage I lived in. So, and every, every now and then I had events um, that went, uh, that I worked at, at night. And then finding the fucking door was a nightmare. Anyway, so, <laughs> and then um, in the, on the 27th of August 2010, I've moved to Birmingham, Erdington. Taxi driver then told me it's the less dodgy end. <laughs> um, and I had a stall there at the, at the uh, Erdington uh, High Street, Erdington Market, for a couple of years um, and um, worked all over Birmingham. Um, with my spiritual work. And then in 2018, I moved to um, my so far favorite place of all, which is Cannock. And people sort of sometimes are surprised about this, but I'm living, I'm, I'm sitting at the Chase, which is obviously um, an area of outstanding national, uh, natural beauty, which it is. Obviously it's much nicer now that I'm in it. <laughs> but it is, um, um, for me, it's because I come obviously from, from, a, from a big place. I'm, I'm from a city called Offenbach, which is right next to Frankfurt. And uh, so it's a massive city, a lot of pollution. And then from there I moved to Dublin. And from there I moved to Birmingham. So it was always massive cities. Um, and I'm a real city kid, even though I always loved nature. As a matter of fact, I spent most of my time in my youth in the forests in Offenbach and Frankfurt. So now being that close, uh, sort of 15 minutes from my door to the chase, um, on a good day, 10 minutes, 12 minutes, um, now I live in the most beautiful place um, I have ever lived at and um, I'm living the life I want. So I fully self-employed uh, as a spiritual healer. I do tons of different things. It's also interesting, I just thought about it on the way up here, that I was given the term Master Shaman in 2006. And I'm not a big fan of titles, never never was. And um, And now in 2022, for the first time in all these years, I'm beginning to really feel comfortable with um, that title, if that makes sense. Um, because in the work that I do, um, a lot of stuff has to be gifted to you. And it will only be gifted to you when the universe feels that you've done right. And a lot of stuff has happened over the years that, um, you know, allowed me to go from strength to strength work-wise. Anyway, <laughs> so I think what I want to share with you is that I came to, 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 to Ireland and my father uh, gave me 500 Deutschmarks in an envelope and told me, never ask me for money again. And I didn't even ask, but the money, <laughs> I took the money. Why wouldn't I? And it uh, didn't last uh, long at all in Dublin. Um, so that wasn't a lot of money. And so the point is, you know, I was an emergency tax for a couple of months there. There was very little money coming in. Everything was super expensive. Um, so the beginnings of uh, my moving abroad were quite difficult. Uh, was also quite difficult health-wise because my insulin pump broke um, pretty much a month after I arrived in Dublin and then um, the Irish were like 
what sort of what's the pump <laughs> and uh, the germans were saying well you, you moved away so you're not paying taxes here anymore so we can't give you a pump anyway so i was um without any really good doctors and out without any um insulin pump which is a bit like my pancreas and i was back on um, injections um and you know didn't still didn't feel like i should go back to germany because it's just wasn't my place if that makes sense I, i'm not knocking germany I I, I I i you know i grew up there it's a great country great education great people you know so i i'm, I'm not knocking it but i was told when i was six years old that i have to go to england to find my twin flame i had no idea what the fuck that was anyway i did find her now i renamed her voldemort so you can tell how that worked out point is ever since i was sort of shown by animal guides when i was a child that Germany just isn't my place, if that makes sense, even though I chose to be born into the family I was born into. Um, I felt disconnected, so I never felt I'm home, which also caused a lot of problems with family members, because, you know, they, they, didn't, they never quite understood why I would be so focused. I remember saying to my mum um, when I came from the woods and the guides have told me, or the animals have told me, whoever it was, um, that I have to go to England as a grown-up. I said to her, when I'm a grown-up, I go to England. And her very German response was, it's always raining there, why don't you go to Spain? <laughs> Bless her. And then she inquired as to who told me that. And when I told her who told me that, um, you can imagine how that went down. <laughs> anyway, I'm not knocking it. The point I'm making is I remember being about maybe 16, 17, and we all had um, a dinner at my mom's and I told the family oh I'm going to the adult education center tomorrow and inquire if I can get if I can get a um, how to go about getting a um, diploma in English and they were all looking at me like what the fuck's wrong with you um, so the so the, so the, 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 the census was that we have so many American companies in Frankfurt why would I ever need this and my and I said well I think one day I need it and when I then in 2000 moved to Dublin uh, my English was better than school English can't change the accent, don't even fucking go there, right? Can't change the accent. But, um, so they noticed straight away that my English was um, more proficient than most people's English was at that time. Um, and so when there were promotions inside, um, I got promoted pretty quickly and also absolutely loved the Irish. <laughs> Funniest people I've ever met. Super funny people. And as mental as I am. And then finally, after a detour to Ireland for 10 years, um, we moved to Birmingham, uh, to England. And um, to me, this is my home, right? I still am a foreigner. Um, I'm very German, can't help it. It's in my genes, right? You can take uh, the boy out of Frankfurt or Offenbach, but you can't take Frankfurt or Offenbach out of the boy. So I am still quite German. Even though when I come to Germany, my sister thinks I'm not because I keep apologizing for everything and I'm very, very polite and she thinks I'm taking the piss, <laughs> which I'm not. Um, so things change over time. What I'm trying to say in my own clumsy way is that all I had to go on was trusting my guides. They told me that this is the way to go. I trusted it. I also really became the spiritual person that I am. Um, when I actually moved abroad, because a lot of people always sort of made me feel made me feel like I'm, I'm a bit of a weirdo in, in Germany, so I couldn't quite do that there. And uh, and then the people who oftentimes discouraged me actually came to see me and paid to see me for my workshops when I years later, decades later, actually went to Germany to do the workshops that I did do here in in, in English uh, and in England um, when I did them in German. So that was a bit of, of vindication. Point is, please don't live in fear. Just have faith in, in the guides, right? You're a spiritual person, you know we all come from a place and we're all very close to source. Trust it. You are not trapped, no matter what people tell you. Anyway, I just wanted to share this with you. <laughs> Time to upload this now. So yeah, that sort of is my story. Obviously, yeah, it's way longer, but who cares? Um, yeah, thank you all for listening. Bye-bye.